Another day, another story. The genesis of the holographic universe theory. The idea of a holographic universe didn't emerge overnight. It was built upon a foundation of earlier scientific and philosophical concepts that hinted at the interconnectedness of reality. Ancient Eastern philosophies, such as Buddhism and Hinduism, have long suggested that our perceived reality is an illusion, akin to a dream or a hologram. However, the modern formulation of the holographic universe theory owes much to the work of scientists and thinkers in the 20th century. One key inspiration for the holographic universe theory was the holonomic brain theory proposed by psychologist Carl Pribram. Pribram suggested that the brain processes information in a way that resembles holography. He believed that memories and perceptions were not stored in specific regions of the brain but were distributed throughout, much like a hologram encodes information in a non-localized manner. This idea hinted at a deeper connection between the brain's functioning and the holographic nature of reality. Holography, a primer. Before delving into the holographic universe theory, it's essential to understand what holography is. Holography is a technique for recording and reconstructing three-dimensional images using laser light. Unlike traditional photographs, holograms capture both the amplitude and phase of light, allowing for the creation of realistic 3D images that change perspective as you move. This process relies on interference patterns, where light waves interact to create the illusion of depth and dimension. In the realm of physics, holography was initially developed by physicist Dennis Gabor in the 1940s as a method for improving electron microscopy. However, it wasn't until the work of physicist Yuri Denisuk and electrical engineer Emmett Leaf in the 1960s that practical holography took shape. Their contributions paved the way for the use of holography in various scientific and industrial applications. The Holographic Principle the holographic universe theory found a surprising connection to black holes, a phenomenon known for its immense gravitational pull and ability to trap even light itself. In the 1970s, physicist Jacob Bekenstein and renowned physicist Stephen Hawking initiated a groundbreaking debate known as the black hole information paradox. This paradox raised a fundamental question, what happens to the information, for example, particles and their properties, that falls into a black hole? The holographic principle emerged as a potential solution. It posits that all the information contained within a three-dimensional space, such as a black hole, can be encoded on a two-dimensional boundary surrounding it. In other words, the content of a region of space can be represented by a hologram on its boundary. This concept challenged conventional notions of space and gave rise to the idea that the entire universe could be a holographic projection of information. The holographic principle gained further traction through its application in anti-de-sitter space, a theoretical construct in physics. Juan Maldacena, a theoretical physicist, introduced the Maldacena duality, which provided a powerful mathematical framework to explore the holographic principle. It suggested that a theory of gravity in a specific curved space could be fully described by a quantum field theory on its boundary. This duality implied that our universe, with its gravitational forces and three spatial dimensions, could be mapped onto a lower dimensional quantum field theory. This concept laid the groundwork for considering the universe itself as a hologram, where everything we observe in three-dimensional space could be a projection from a two-dimensional boundary. Quantum Mechanics and the Holographic Universe Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of subatomic particles, plays a pivotal role in the holographic universe theory. One of the key quantum phenomena that aligns with the holographic principle is entanglement. Entanglement occurs when two or more particles become correlated in such a way that the state of one instantly affects the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This phenomenon appears non-local, as it seems to defy the constraints of space and time. The holographic universe theory suggests that this non-local entanglement is a manifestation of the interconnectedness implied by holography. Just as a hologram encodes information in a distributed manner, entangled particles share information instantaneously across space, supporting the idea that our reality might be a holographic projection of entangled information. Another quantum concept relevant to the holographic universe theory is superposition. In quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. This principle suggests that at the quantum level, reality is not fixed but exists in a superposition of possibilities. This hints at a fundamental ambiguity in our understanding of reality and aligns with the idea that our universe's apparent solidity might be a projection of possibilities, much like a hologram's ever-shifting image. 
Quantum mechanics introduces the concept that information is fundamental to the nature of reality. The act of measurement in quantum experiments collapses the wave function, determining the outcome and effectively extracting information from the quantum system. This idea parallels the holographic principle's assertion that information encoded on a lower dimensional boundary defines the properties of the associated three-dimensional space. The profound connection between quantum mechanics and holography raises questions about the nature of information itself and its role in shaping our reality. It suggests that the universe might not be composed of discrete particles and fields but, at its core, consists of information that underlies everything we perceive. The correlation between consciousness and the holographic universe. At the heart of the holographic universe theory lies a deep and perplexing question. What is the relationship between consciousness and the holographic nature of reality? This question leads us to the hard problem of consciousness, a term coined by philosopher David Chalmers. The hard problem goes beyond understanding how the brain processes information and asks why and how certain physical processes in the brain give rise to subjective experiences and self-awareness. The holographic universe theory suggests that consciousness might be intimately linked to the way reality is structured. If the universe is indeed a hologram, then consciousness could be an intrinsic part of this holographic projection. This idea challenges conventional materialistic views of consciousness, which posit that it emerges solely from the interactions of neurons in the brain. The brain is a holographic processor. The brain's role in the holographic universe theory is a subject of much speculation and debate. Some proponents of the theory propose that the brain itself operates as a holographic processor. According to this view, the brain doesn't store memories or perceptions in specific locations but processes them in a distributed and interconnected manner, similar to the holographic encoding of information. If the brain does indeed function as a holographic processor, it could provide a bridge between the quantum world and our conscious experiences. This suggests that consciousness might tap into the holographic nature of reality, allowing us to perceive and interact with the universe on a deeper level. The connection between consciousness and the holographic universe theory remains largely speculative, and many questions persist. Researchers are exploring various avenues to understand this connection better, including the role of meditation, altered states of consciousness, and the study of near-death experiences. While empirical evidence is still emerging, the theoretical framework suggests that consciousness may play a fundamental role in shaping and interacting with the holographic fabric of the universe. Experiments and Empirical Evidence the double slit experiment is a cornerstone of quantum mechanics that highlights the wave particle duality of particles. In this experiment, particles such as electrons are fired at a barrier with two slits. When unobserved, the particles behave as if they are in a wave like state, producing an interference pattern on the screen behind the slits. However, when observed or measured, they behave as discrete particles and produce a different pattern. The double slit experiment raises questions about the role of observation and consciousness in determining the behavior of particles. Some proponents of the holographic universe theory argue that this phenomenon reflects the idea that our observation collapses the wave function, determining the outcome of an event and suggesting that consciousness has a fundamental role in shaping reality. Experiments involving quantum entanglement have provided further insights into the connection between consciousness and quantum phenomena. The phenomenon of non-local entanglement where particles instantaneously affect each other's states regardless of distance, has led some researchers to explore the possibility of consciousness as a non-local phenomenon. While these experiments do not provide direct evidence for a holographic universe, they do hint at the interconnectedness of the quantum world and the potential role of consciousness in shaping quantum events. They challenge our conventional understanding of causality and suggest that consciousness might exist beyond the confines of individual brains. While experimental evidence for a holographic universe and its correlation to consciousness remains limited, the theoretical connections between these concepts continue to intrigue and inspire researchers in various fields. Exploring the overlap between quantum mechanics, holography, and consciousness may lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the fundamental nature of reality. Challenges and Criticisms One of the primary challenges facing the holographic universe theory is the issue of scale. While it might be plausible to apply holography to black holes or the quantum realm, extrapolating this concept to the entire universe raises questions about the practicality of such a model. Critics argue that the vastness of the cosmos and the complexity of macroscopic phenomena may not align with the principles of holography, which are well established at smaller scales. Another criticism of the holographic universe theory is the absence of direct empirical proof. 
while there is intriguing theoretical and experimental evidence suggesting a connection between holography, quantum mechanics, and consciousness, no experiment has definitively confirmed that the entire universe is a holographic projection. This lack of empirical verification leaves the theory in the realm of speculation and philosophy for some. The holographic universe theory is not the only model attempting to explain the nature of reality and its connection to consciousness. Alternative theories, such as the simulation hypothesis and various interpretations of quantum mechanics, offer different perspectives on these complex questions. These alternative theories compete for attention and research funding, making it challenging to establish a consensus in the scientific community. The Future of the Holographic Universe Theory The holographic universe theory remains a compelling and a mysterious area of scientific inquiry. As technology advances and our understanding of quantum mechanics deepens, researchers may uncover new evidence and insights into the nature of reality and its connection to consciousness. Future experiments, particularly those exploring the intersection of quantum mechanics and consciousness, could shed light on the validity of the holographic universe hypothesis. If the holographic universe theory were to gain empirical support and broader acceptance, it would have profound implications for our worldview. It would challenge conventional materialism and suggest that consciousness plays a more fundamental role in the universe than previously thought. This shift in perspective could reshape our understanding of the human experience and our relationship with the cosmos. The exploration of the holographic universe theory also raises important philosophical and ethical questions. If consciousness is indeed intertwined with the fabric of the universe, what are the implications for our moral and ethical choices? How might this understanding influence our approach to environmental conservation, social justice, and the pursuit of knowledge? These are complex and profound questions that merit careful consideration. The Mystery of the Holographic Universe In conclusion, the holographic universe theory presents a captivating and multidisciplinary exploration of the nature of reality and its connection to consciousness. Rooted in the principles of holography and supported by insights from quantum mechanics, this theory challenges our conventional understanding of the universe as a separate, materialistic entity. While the holographic universe theory remains a subject of debate and speculation, it has the potential to reshape our worldview and deepen our understanding of the fundamental mysteries of existence. As scientific advancements continue and researchers delve deeper into the quantum realm, we may one day uncover the empirical evidence needed to confirm or refine this intriguing hypothesis. If this journey inspires you, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more enlightening videos.